Hello there, people, and welcome to my very first Thomas the Tank Engine review video of 2019. And it also happens to be the very first one that I have done in quite some time. You may notice that I have a very different looking room than I did before. There's no more green carpet. Uh, that's because at some point in the last year I actually moved houses. So that means that there's a new room for my train stuff. And I haven't gotten any carpet into this new room yet. But at some point in time, I will get to that. But for right now, uh, this is what I have for my trains. And I am showing you something that I got a couple of days ago, which I'm pretty sure a lot of you in the Thomas the Tank Engine community already know about. This is the Super Station. Right here, I have the box that this Super Station came in. And over here, it says, One set for all your Thomas engines. And it also says, Works with Minis Adventures, Trackmaster, and Wooden Railway. And in this case, I have gotten it for my Thomas Wooden Railway set. And this set does also come with uh, four different characters, and I will show you those in a bit. Here are the four characters that the set comes with. It comes with a Minis James, and this is the first time that I have looked at a Minis uh, train uh, personally and up close. I have uh, seen them in the stores, but I have not gotten any of them until now. I may actually get a couple more of them, just for the sake of adding on to this uh, set, or the roundhouse, the Superstation. Since you saw that on the box, uh, you can connect a number of different uh, trains, and I will show you that. There are these hinges on the side, and you can connect the trains right there and you can also put trains right here and this here is an Adventures Percy it is uh, the same shape as the Take Along and the Take and Play that came out uh, sometime I'm not quite sure when but it came out sometime after the discontinuation of Ertl which I think was in 2003, because I'm pretty sure that uh, they did have Season 7 characters be introduced in the Ertl line, and I'm pretty sure that any characters introduced after Season 7 were never in the Ertl line. So I'm pretty sure that Season 7 was when the Ertl line uh, came to an end. And they've done a number of different uh, changes with what trains were released in this line, and in this case, this is the most recent, or one of the most recent trains, the uh, Adventures trains, and it has these uh, connection points, not the original magnets that the Take Along and Take and Play sets have had. And right here, is a Trackmaster Thomas, as well as also a freight car, but that's not the other character that we are going to be talking about. I will actually show you, or do a little test run on this Trackmaster Thomas, so let's get to that, shall we? I have done test runs with this train before, and it does sort of work on the wooden railway track, but it doesn't really. There have been a couple of points where it does get stuck, so, it pretty much really only works on the Trackmaster track. I'm not sure if this is uh, the actual Trackmaster track or something similar to that. If uh, you know if it is or isn't, do let me know. But anyway, uh, I will get this thing uh, started up. And there it goes. Sorry about the blur. Come on, camera. Thank you. It goes up.
That wasn't supposed to happen. This was. Blur! And that's where it stops. There you go. So there you go. And the other character that this set comes with is Harold. Now, I'm not quite sure as to what sort of toy line that this Harold is supposed to be a part of. It was kind of under... It was listed... I'll show you. It was kind of listed around here, although I've noticed Minis, Adventure, Trackmaster, so I think it could be Trackmaster. I was I was not certain if it was like Trackmaster or Wooden Railway. I don't think that it is Wooden Railway because, first off, it's not made of wood. And second off, there's no indication that it is Wooden Railway. It just has this hook on the bottom, which could suggest that it is actually Trackmaster. So, there's that. This set does also come with a cranky, which is shown, or is on the top of the shed. And, well, I know that there is no canon storyline in regards to cranky being on top of a shed. Although I did see the online uh, fan-created uh, Thomas and Friends uh, storyline which showed the Superstation, the ones that the Thomas the Tank Engine community has worked together on, that was then uh, featured on the official Thomas and Friends YouTube channel. And, you know, you probably have seen those. Some of you may have even worked on some of those videos. But, anyway. Uh, I personally have not worked on any of those uh, online videos at the time of the recording of this uh, video. I don't know how I could actually uh, become a part of that sort of making community, although I probably would want to wait until I get a proper uh, green grass carpet in this new room right here before doing anything, because would it really make sense for... Sodor to exist in a land that has no grass in it? I don't think so. So, Cranky here is able to grab hold of this box, which I am quite certain that he can use to lift engines up onto this top portion right here and get some engines to get on top of uh, the shed right here, because it does also have some track where I have put the three engines that were included in this set onto. And, you know, you can lower, lower them down and raise them up. So that is pretty good. This set does also come with stickers that can be applied to the different sections. As you can see down here, there is the Vickerstown Diesel Works. Come on, camera, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Right, can you see it? That's pro okay. There we go. That's the best that we can get. And then over here, oh, I just I just pushed a button on the deluxe roundhouse which I have set up down here. And it's not really part of the review. It's just something that I put onto the uh, the set because I think that it would look pretty cool. Kind of, you know, the set that I built up right here kind of looks like it could be an ultimate sort of uh, roundhouse uh, sanctuary. You know, like there could be a huge team of engines that just all come here uh, when they need to go to uh, sleep. And the, uh, the top part right here could uh, be the steam team. And, of course, the original steam team is up on the top of this, uh, uh, this station, not the current team, which features Nia and Rebecca, which, as of the time of the recording of this video, I do not have, so, for the time being, I have the engines that were part of the original Steam Team, before Big World Big Adventures. But anyway, continuing on with the stickers, there's also one for Napford Station back here, and there were also some stickers for uh, Cranky. Here's one for the Blue Mountain Quarry. And there 
is Owen, the incline. Owen, you have not said a word since Ben Small left the show. Who's going to voice you now? This set does also come with some adapters to connect this track to the other sort of track. These are the slope tracks, which I have not used on the set at all because, well, you can't use every single thing on the set at one time because there aren't enough track that allows you to do that. Pretty much, it, you just have all sorts of different options on how to connect the uh, track together. Uh, there are two adapters for the wooden railway track, which I did use because I use mostly wooden railway, and I have gotten... I have used the Wooden Railway Adapter Tracks to adapt my Wooden Railway Track to this track right here. And, of course, the Wooden Railway Trains do work on this sort of track, as you have seen earlier, with all of those engines on the top of the shed right there. And there is another one of those adapters that is used over here as well. As well as also these sort of adapter tracks, which I'm not quite sure what sort of adapters these are supposed to be for. Uh, I'm sure that you could tell me if you know, but I, I personally do not know uh, what those adapters are supposed to be for. But, you know, since I don't have whatever track that's supposed to be in adaption to, I just simply decided to put them together since... Um, since, you know, they do work together, and it really helps out with getting the track connected in all sorts of different ways. There are a couple of uh, dead end pieces shown over here and over here. So I used a couple of those. And it also features a couple of these switches right here where you can just switch the trains on either side. You know, just have the train go one way or the train go the other way. But, of course, in this case, one way continues on with the track and the other one is just a dead end. One of the functions that these hills have right here is that you can use them to race your trains. And I have done that a number of times, but it doesn't really work, does not really work very well, I guess, unless you have the uh, track going very, very far out, but in this case, I do not. But let me show you what happens when I do have the uh, trains race. I'm going to use my uh, Adventures Percy because, you know, I just have it because I have this whole set. It's not really going to be used for anything else. It's just something that's going to be set onto the playset. But anyway, I'm going to drop this and go. And he skids all the way across. That's actually uh, one of the things that you can uh, use these slope pieces for. Just put them at the bottom of the track right here, so that that way you don't have to worry about your, the trains uh, flying off the track. But, you know, they are going to do that anyway, but, but, you know. They do advertise on the box to have you use these at the bottom of these slopes, but in this case, I did not put them on there because I wanted to connect my wooden railway track to this track right here, so I simply did not use these. Now, here we are at the back of the sheds, and, of course, there is no uh, back coverage for the shed, which is pretty good for getting inside shots, like if you were making uh, any uh, videos using this uh, sort of shed, you could use take this to your advantage. Although none of the roundhouses, uh, either the basic basic roundhouse or the deluxe one, have back ends either. But you know, there isn't a back end for this roundhouse too, and I guess it, it makes sense that there is no back end because. Otherwise, how would you be able to get inside shots of the trains? Now, the, uh, this part right here does allow you to have the trains come in from the back, which is quite an interesting setup uh, for roundhouses. In fact, I can actually spin... If the train is short enough, I can actually spin it in this 
part right here, but of course, on a real live train, you can't do that. But it's pretty good. I also like the sound that it makes when you roll the train back and forth. That's pretty neat. The turntable also has another little function right here. You see this switch right here? Well, guess what happens when you push it up? That is what happens. If you have a Trackmaster train uh, going up, you could use this uh, turntable basically to stop it. And how that works is that you have the switch right here, and these little coupling things raise up so that the train that is moving will be stopped. And I just wanted to demonstrate that with my Trackmaster Thomas. And there's that right there. Okay, so to close off, this has got to be probably one of the best things that could ever be produced uh, by any sort of Thomas the Tank Engine toy facturing company. And, you know, just being able to use any sort of trains, whether it be Trackmaster or Wooden Railway or whatever you have, and being able to use them all together in the same place. Like, if you had more than one sort of uh, type of Thomas train, and you were kind of bummed out that you could not use them all together in the same spot, this, uh, this super station now gives you the opportunity to do that. And I just gotta say, I am very impressed with this thing. There are four different official uh, layouts that you can make using this sort of set, but I'm not going to be showing those off right there. If you want to see those, uh, you can check out other people's uh, videos uh, that does show the Superstation. But anyway, I'm not going to really show all of those off. What I will say is that you can take the the shed and actually set it down on the ground rather than have it be raised up like you see here. But for me personally, I think that I like it better with it being raised up than have it be uh, set on the ground because it makes it feel a bit more special that way. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you again next time.